my history um, began with the proverbial silver spoon in my mouth. I grew up in Cohasset in the 1970s, on Jerusalem Road. In 1982, I graduated middle school from Derby Academy in England, the oldest co-educational day school in America. In 1985, like four generations of my family before me, I graduated from Phillips Exeter. A future could not have been better. In 1992, I left Northeastern University as the president of student government and a magna cum laude graduate of the College of Business Administration. I left there to begin a career in advertising and sales, marketing, and ultimately the hospitality industry. I worked hard on my career. I moved forward in my life, smoothly, or so it would seem. But underneath it all, I had a blossoming drug habit. From 1992 to 2005, on the outside, my life accelerated upwards. But on the inside, my life accelerated downwards. And by 2005, I had completely lost everything. My lifelong addiction to drugs had stripped me of all my money, all my possessions, my family, my relationships. And I was no longer able to pay any rent, pull down any job. I moved into an abandoned warehouse basement not too far from Fenway Park. There was no heat. There was no plumbing. There was no electricity. I slept in a box and I scourged dumpsters for food. Rats scurried around on the pipes exposed above my head. They were living better than I was living. I was hopeless, and I saw no way out. Eventually, I was discovered by the building's maintenance man and forced to leave the basement in the middle of a February blizzard. With no other place to go, I made my way to a shelter where I was introduced to Homestar. I started working with my housing advocate. I just need to give a shout out to Ms. Lena. <laughs> One tough cookie. <laughs> Not mess with Ms. Lena Jacobs. <laughs> but she showed me stern compassion. And she gave me simple assignments. Every week, I had an appointment. Every week, I had an assignment. It was my job to show up with the results, fill out this application, read these listings, attend this workshop. Simple assignments, weekly appointments. I would show up with my results, and I would get my new tasks. <laughs> Three months later, I earned a housing voucher. When I moved into my new home, the support from Homestar continued. Some of the people that helped me in those days are here too. Thank you also. Now, in my new home, I would meet with my housing stabilization worker, and I would learn the things that I had never learned. You know, that sense that somebody else taught the class that you never attended. Simple things like learning how to grocery shop again. Simple things about learning how to how to do my dishes, simple things about how to pay my rent. And eventually, I even was able to start to save money. The best thing about my apartment was that I knew what I had done to get there, and Homestar taught me what I needed to know to stay there. For the first time in my entire adult life, I learned to live within my means. I know now, thanks to Homestar, that I'll never have With my new home base, I was able to work on myself and in my, my apartment as a foundation. I was able to spend some time trying to help others, ending the cycle of homelessness and addiction. After a year and a half working as a barista, I was trained as a paralegal and continued moving forward, onward, upward. In the fall of 2012, I began studying at Boston College. And in May of this year, I earned my Master's of Social Work. With a
Start. 